Okay, so today we're gonna to try to assemble a wildebeest mask. This is gonna kill Mufasa here in our Lion King Junior production. We're gonna have a slightly different design than this in the ears, um, but otherwise it will look roughly like this. So we gotta make the snout and then attach these other pieces. So we're gonna start off by making the snout. To do that, we have this piece of cardboard and we are going to attach some, uh, I forget what this is called, chip bar. It's kind of like, the, it's like cardboard, but it's more like what cereal boxes are made of. So it's somewhere in between poster board and cardboard. And uh, I've got this piece, which I include the dimensions in the description of cardboard. I've painted it black on both sides. You could probably only one side is gonna be visible. So it's probably unnecessary to both sides, but I did anyways. Um, so we are going to be constructing this as the overall frame and then attaching this nose to it. All right, so we're gonna start by creating the nose just so we get a sense of exactly what shape we need to make with the, this chipboard. So I'm going to use um, just scotch tape to start off with in terms of the folding process and then I'm gonna convert over to hot glue just to reinforce it all. So um, looking at this here, it's been a while since I've done this first one, so bear with me if I make errors, but, um, generally when there's a little cutout like that, we just are going to connect those. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to tape it on the back always. So I'm going to come over here, connect these, tape it on the back. Then I'm going to come over here. Connect these. I've already cut out these pieces, of course. And I've also painted the back of them black, um, just in case some parts of it end up visible. Okay, did that. Now I'm gonna connect these two pieces together, like so. When we connect these two pieces, the mouth is gonna kinda, the teeth or whatever that is, is gonna fold on over and connect there. It's just something to be aware of. That should happen. with some tape. Okay, let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good there. Okay, I've got a little bend over here that I have to connect. And I have to do it here as well. the basic shape. We've got it all taped together here. I'm gonna have to pinch it in a little bit in places, but it looks pretty good to me for now. All right, so as you can imagine, this shape is gonna come in here and form a bottom structure to attach to. And then this, to support this arch, we're gonna use this, I forget what it's called, chipboard or something like that. So I'm gonna to need to connect this. To connect this, I'm gonna use black tape. Uh, I forget if I use, I think I folded it under here so it wouldn't be as tall in this segment. So let me go ahead and see. All right, so I'm going, I'm lining up this and I'm gonna make two slits cuts right above that. Maybe two inches in on each side, something like that. I want these to this to fold over. So I've cut that, and now I'm having this fold over. Right. So I'm going to tape those together. Okay. Right, so they 
meet in the middle, roughly. Good. I'm just gonna put this on top, see how much I need this to smush down. Not very much, that looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna just put a little, mainly to help me find my center, I'm gonna put a piece of duct tape right here. So I have something to set this on and center it. Okay, now once I've got that, I'm gonna take more duct tape. And just go from the top, smush down, and kind of reach around. Like so, like so. All right, so there's a side view. I've pushed this down a little bit. This is standing up a little bit more. Looks pretty good to me. I might do one more reinforcing piece of duct tape. A little bit longer this time. Just to go across here. I'm gonna go to the other side. There's one, there's two. All right, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I see the basic structure coming here. Let me just continue that basic structure. So. Remember, these parts folded under, but this I'm gonna make it flush, at least in the back. Oops, let me see, at least in the back there. So I'm gonna grab my duct tape. Put a little here. I'm gonna fold it back like this. Bring this right up to the edge and then fold it over to connect these. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Get my duct tape, put it on the bottom, fold it over. All right, feeling pretty good about that. All right, I see a structure, hopefully you do as well. Okay, now we're gonna attach the nose to that. Okay, I'm gonna put it on, make sure I see how it's gonna kind of work. That looks pretty good to me. I did see that I missed a few little twists on this nose here. These two should curl in together. I'm just gonna do a little taping on that nose to miss, make up for those missed points, parts. Hard to see some of these things I'm doing, but there are little triangles that I'm connecting. There, that I missed earlier. That just gives it a little more 3D structure. And rather than curling that over, I'm just gonna cut off the extra tape there. I have particularly dull scissors because I was cutting cardboard with these scissors, so you can maybe don't have as dull scissors. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. And that's the, it's hard to see against black, but there's a little thing that I have to shove together there. And nothing is perfect. I kind of designed this with speed in mind rather than accuracy. If you wanted to, if you're unhappy with how some of these things join together, you could always you know, use your scissors and just nip off a little bit, make it more of an even connection. All right, I'm also going to reinforce that tape slightly. Okay, so back to attaching the nose. Now that I've seen everything is there. Yet again, to help me center things, I'm going to put, I'm going to roll a piece of duct tape. 
and just kind of put it in the center just to hold it in place. Now I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna try not to stick it to the duct tape too early. I wanna make sure that feels like it's pretty centered before I push it down. And once I've got it pretty centered, I'm gonna try to push it down to connect that. All right, and then underneath here, I'm gonna make some connections with duct tape as well, just so I feel pretty sturdy. Again, doing a little roll. Most likely I'll end up doing hot glue after the fact to confirm these connections. But this portion, this portion that your students should be able to do. And that looks pretty good. Perhaps it's a little bit firm. Let me try that, oops. Of course I just ripped it a little. Try to avoid ripping it. Okay. I got a little off center, so I'm gonna loosen it and try to adjust. fiddle with this a bit as I am doing. I feel like it's pretty good. Let's see. That looks better to me. All right, perfect. So at some point I can add some hot glue to do that. I'm gonna focus on the non hot glue steps for now. Okay. Well, uh, almost the next step is, the next step is the middle of the face. Okay, so the middle of the face has the eyes and everything. Uh, we also are gonna have to create a support. Only one side I painted black because the other side I'm gonna glue to the back just to give it a little bit more of a rigid structure because I couldn't print on heavy cardstock. If you can print on heavier cardstock, you might not need to do this. So I am going to use hot glue for this step. Again, we could use some form of tape as well, but I feel a little more secure as I do the rest of this if I just hot glue it right away. So the centering perfectly does not matter at all, but roughly in the center. Okay. Okay, so that looks like it's good to go to me. All right, so now we're going to align it with the center of this. So we start to see the face take shape. All right, again, these are kind of big, so it's hard for me to fit in camera. In, camera view. And, you know, I think in general where I want to line it up is a pr a, so that the point is almost touching that first silver circle that I made there. Okay, so that's where I'm going to line things up. Um, in terms of an overall construction, I'm probably going to start with just using a little tape so I can get it centered and in place, and then I'll use hot glue to reinforce it. So yet again, roll the duct tape, place it centered, Okay, like so, line up your nose where you want it to go. Again, right on that silver dot or right near that silver dot, a little above if you want, and try to set it in. Okay, once you've set it in, make sure it still looks centered to you. Get a little bit off. I'm trying to get it as close to center as possible. All right, now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna trace a little line of hot glue in there and around just to try to seal it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now. Of course, I ripped the tape right off when I did that. And I ran out of hot glue, so I'm gonna grab another stick. Side, I'm gonna hot glue. Okay. While I'm at it, I might glue some of these things here that I didn't glue before. Oops. 
just to give it a little bit more strength. So I'm just putting hot glue stripes anywhere where I see a joint where cardboard touches cardboard or paper touches cardboard, just to give it a little bit more of a connection there. And hopefully that's gonna be sufficient once it dries. So making it feel comfortable. I add a little hot glue on some of these tape lines that I did before. Turn it and do this other side as well, over here. See, one, the first time I made this, I did the hot glue as the first step and I had to wait at each step to wait for it to dry. But if you do the taping first, it goes a lot smoother. Okay. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let me just look one more time, see if it looks like it's holding. Still looks like it needs another minute. Okay, so for this next piece, we're going to have another support, just a smaller support, which I think I made. So I'm, I'm gonna pause the video as I go and get it. Okay, so I did grab this remaining support uh, and I'm gonna attach it to the top of the head, but only at the top. I'm not gonna hot glue it all the way. So I, yet again, I only have one black side because the other side is not showing. I'm putting a little at the top and intentionally not at the bottom yet because I'm gonna connect it to something else in a minute. So I line that up kind of with the top just to give a little more rigidity to the top here. Okay, I'm now going to lift this up. Looks pretty secure. Pleased with that. So now we're going to place uh, the top of the head into, into position. Right above the face. It's going to slide down something like that, right there. Going right between those eyebrows there. That's the plan at least. And you should see this portion where we didn't hot glue. It's going to slide in on the other side of this. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to connect that in just a second to the cardboard on this side. Whoops, let me point. Remember there's cardboard on the backing of the middle face and the cardboard on the backing of the top of the head. And I'm gonna interlock that cardboard and glue the cardboards together, okay? So that's the plan. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give it a shot right now. So I'm going to Put a little dab on this cardboard just so I make sure it's there. Then I'm gonna put a little bit on that area that I didn't do before. Make sure it's got ready to go, lathered up and set. Okay, I'm going to now slide it roughly into position to make sure those overlap. Flip it over and that's too far, you can see. So I'm gonna pull it back. I want those eyebrows to show if I can help it, if I can make that happen, that is. All right, that looks pretty good to me. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there for a second. I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna now join these solidly by running a strip of hot glue down the side. My glue sticks seem very small today. I'm gonna bring them to place, so let me add another one in here. Okay, so as I said, I'm gonna add another strip here. things. I want this to be as tight as possible. I don't really think it's going to fall apart anyways, but just in case. Okay, so that feels pretty good. I'm gonna kind of support it a little bit, turn it over, make sure I haven't messed up 
Looks pretty good on that side. Now I am gonna add a little dab of the, under the paper too, just so that it doesn't curl up or something like that. Okay. If you wanted to add more three-dimensionality, you could add a little spacer underneath this and that would make the top of the head pop up. I'm not gonna bother with that here, but that is an option. Okay, good, so the main head is now complete. All right, we're gonna go on to the horns. So we're gonna use a different horn design. As I said, it's gonna look like this, kind of more origami-esque a little bit. Um, so we're gonna talk about how to do that right now. Okay, so we, I've already cut out these pieces. Um, some of the lines were a little bit jagged on my design. You can just cut them straight though. That was just when I was making it. You'll also notice there's these little black slits here. We are gonna actually cut those, um, not all the way through, all right, just as far as the black goes, because we're gonna do a bend at that point, so we need it to be loose. And I'm gonna do that on both of these. Okay, so we are gonna fold these suckers. Um, looks like, remembering how I did this. Okay, so we're gonna fold it in half first, I believe. I think I accidentally did not include fold lines on this version, but that's okay. It should fold up nicely to that edge. Again, it doesn't actually matter if it's that nice, because nothing's perfect here then be viewed from at least 20 feet away, so. All right, so I got my first fold there. Now it looks like I actually need to take those and fold them into the center, once I've made my first fold. And this is uh, gonna make kind of a sharp line. If you didn't want it quite so sharp, you could also bend it instead of folding it. It'd still be kind of sharp, but less so. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. Okay, perfect. All right. So now we're going to, once we've done that, we're gonna assemble the horn. The way we're gonna do this, we're gonna use the tape to help us. We're gonna put it like three quarters of the way so there's only a little bit of seam of tape showing along an edge. I can't really get too close to that corner very well with the tape, which is unfortunate, but I'll do the rest with hot glue. This is just mainly to support our hot gluing. So then I'm gonna come over here and have these meet Let's see if I can do this on the video. So I'm gonna bring these edges together. Ideally, they will meet in a nice point here. Yeah. I need that tape to kind of help hold the connection. That's why I gotta make sure it's bent. All right, that's coming in, that's coming together. All right, and that may be good enough. Let me see if I can get something in there just to loosen, pull out that side a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna do the hot glue. Now the problem with this, of course, you, you're gonna wait for me to have glue dry, which is always very slow, but the tape is there to support it, so it shouldn't be as long. Okay, so I'm just putting it on that seam, gluing that seam very, I don't really care if hot glue comes on top. I don't think it's gonna impact the aesthetics. All right, so there we go, I've done that seam. Now, we are gonna have to bend it here, and that's why we did those cuts earlier. And then I'm gonna take this, and they're gonna meet, but they're gonna meet kinda of high up here. All right, we want a nice, clear bend in the overall thing. So I'm gonna work on getting a nice, clear point where everything is meeting. Nice angle, I like that angle. 
and I'm gonna get them as close together as possible. You know, I think I am gonna use tape for this as well, so I don't have to hold it. So, oh, I got a little hot glue in there. It feels like it's already drying. La la la. Okay. Oh, well, it just came undone, so. This is always the challenge if you do too many things at once. Things can go awry in the hot loading space. Okay. okay. Let me try to get on camera again. Well, maybe I don't want to use that though. Maybe I'm not going to use the tape. I rescind my earlier comment. It's easier just for me to align two spots rather than a whole line. So I'm gonna get that that one spot where they're gonna meet and make sure that's aligned well. And everything else will follow after that. Okay, so I've got, I put in a little dot there. Now I'm furiously gonna to try to get those together in the right spot at the right time. That looks pretty good to me. So, I'll hold that. I even put a little bit here. This is where I'd pause the video, but I don't have the hands to do it. I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Oh, I now have the hands, so I'm gonna pause it for a second and wait. So, I did let that dry a little bit and then I was got impatient and so I did this seam as well. And I'm waiting for that to dry. I'm not gonna have you sit through it. It was pretty, you just ran a stripe there. Uh, again, it's probably better to wait for everything to dry before you reinforce all those seams, but we're, I'm impatient. So I'll let you know when I'm, this one, this one is done, but everything should be connected now with hot glue. Okay, so the next ear is basically gonna be repeat, do the same thing. So if you've, you could just rewind the video and watch it twice. So uh, I am going to though, just in case it's helpful. By the way, I had printed something on the back and I, I'm not concerned, That's, I'm not using that. So I'm gonna start by folding it in half yet again. Let me try to get it more on video this time if I can. All right, so I'm gonna try to, I got a little hot glue in my folding area. So I'm gonna work on folding in half first. I'm gonna to try to get that point nice and perfect. If I can, line these up. Everything should match up pretty well. Okay, so I got that to go together. And then I'm gonna make sure these line up. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so once I do that, I'm gonna unfold it. I'm gonna fold this in. this into the center. Okay, unfold it, go to the other side, repeat, folding this into center. Make sure that black line is cut because we're gonna need a cut to do the bend in the horns. And then over here, fold that into center. All right, there we are. So yet again, I'm gonna take a strip of tape just to help me hold the seam as it's waiting for the glue. Okay, once you put the tape in, you're supposed to bend it back. And then you can just match these suckers up. And it should hold nicely. Also make sure they line up. Keep on bringing it to my eyes, which of course, Takes it out of frame, but all right, there we go, I connected. There, I did that much better than the last time. All right, so I use the tape effectively now. Nice, solid seam. Just gotta remember to bend it back, that tape. All right, now I'm gonna reinforce the connection all with hot glue. Strip a hot glue right down there. All right, that's good. Okay, I might try to push this in a little bit and wait for it to 
dry a little bit just so the point is a little pointier. But already that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fold first strip of the It's a little weird to feel like you're ripping the paper. You might rip it a little bit, but it's okay. You just wanna get that angle if you can. It'd be great if you're doing a set at the same time if you do approximately the same angle. But someone can have crooked horns. It's okay. All right, here we go. So again, I'm gonna like, maybe I'll try one more time to see if I can do a little tape reinforcement just to hold things in place. Again, I'm gonna do a little seam there, fold the seam back. I should be able to, if I line these up correctly, if I line it up correctly, let me try again. I should be able to, if I folded that tape back, it should be able to connect and make a nice seam there. That was much better than I could have been. So now I need to pull that back. At least I have a little support on this fold now. Okay, so now we need these two ends to meet. Have a nice angle. Something like that. Once you get a good spot, you want to just hold it. You want that, you know, good angle. That looks pretty good to me. Let me see if I. There we go, I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna hit that spot for sure. And anything that looks together on the seam, I'll hit with the hot glue. It's very easy to get hot glue in your hands. I just did. And... Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit more in there because I feel like I can. And now I'm gonna wait, so I'm gonna shut off the video for a minute as I wait for that to dry, and then I'm gonna also, while it's shut off, I'm gonna do this line and this line um, just to finish the connections. Okay, so once these have sufficiently dried, which mine have are almost there, we're gonna connect them. They're gonna be opposite ones. So let's see if I can get this on that. Oops, you know, let me go wide screen. There we go. So we're gonna connect them. You'll see a point extends, so you're gonna have those points kind of meet like that. So you have one on each side. And the way we're gonna use it, we're gonna connect them is using a cardboard rectangle that's gonna be hopefully basically hidden in there. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna do the edges of the rectangle with hot glue, insert it into the hole. It's gonna meet on these sides and then we'll squeeze it so that it actually stays in place. So, um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do half of it at a time. So I'm going to do this. Hot glue, right up the edge. I'm gonna do the end too. Okay, once I feel like I've done half or so, I'm starting to drip, but I'm gonna shove it in like so, and then I'm gonna squeeze the thing until it connects. And so you should have sticking out like that. Okay, gotta wait for that to dry for a minute. I, of course, am impatient. You should definitely wait for a minute, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing the other side right now. I'm gonna line this up, go right through. Do the end two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Tell them it's gonna to start to drip because that's the way things work. So I come here, shove it in. Once I've got as far as it'll go in without breaking anything, I'm gonna squeeze it tight. And there's my set of horns. Not bad. Okay. So when we attach these horns, we're going to, um, there's two places to attach it when we look at the back. It's kind of this back area and this front area. I'm gonna attach it to the back one because I'm gonna have ears come in eventually. So I'm gonna stick it in like that. 
And to do this, um, I think the top is about where I want it. I can't quite get wide enough so you can see, but about there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this region here with hot glue. Put it generously apply the hot glue there. Okay, I'm gonna place it in where I want it. And then I'm gonna be checking, as soon as I placed it in, I'm gonna be checking to see if it looks centered approximately. And uh, we're gonna get some extra support eventually, but I wanna make sure it's centered and it's not too crooked. So just use eyeball it. Okay, once you've got it, I'm just gonna lay it down to dry that way. Now, if, here, I'm gonna take this out. If you've done it, you will probably have some space in there. You see, I've got some extra space in there and we're gonna have to do some supports in there once we get the ears in place. Okay, but it's underway, it's underway. So I'm gonna pause for the video for a minute to wait for that to dry. Okay, now we're gonna make the ears. So I've already cut them out. I did it out of that same um, cereal kind of cereal box cardboard type thing, somewhere between, the post, between post board and cardboard. I'm just using it plain. I didn't make a special design for it because I thought this was a fine color for me to use. So I was happy with it. Um, so we're just going to roll them, roll the paper until we get a shape that looks kind of like an ear <laughs> and then we'll call it good. That looks kind of like an ear to me. That's pretty good. Just work on the other ear. Try to make them kind of the same. If you use a lighter paper, it might actually even work better. I don't need to do something quite this heavy. The ears. But look pretty good to me. All right, so we're gonna wanna hot glue these probably. It's probably gonna be better than tape, so. Let's see if my hot glue is ready. It's still, it's, I don't. Whole seam here. Okay, push in there. Push these together. All right. First year is looking pretty good. Always adjust it a little bit afterwards, bend in various ways. Add an extra bend if you want to. So I'm gonna do that to the other ear as well. I'm gonna wait for this to dry, do it to the other ear, and then I'll be back to attach it to the head. I'm gonna pause the video for now. Okay, so now I'm going to, I've done both ears. I'm ready to attach them. So I'm gonna like put a whole bunch of hot glue right there. I'm gonna attach it to the upper portion right up here, just below the ears. And uh, I'm gonna to try to angle them up a little bit. So here, let me see if I can get this in frame. So just kind of at that same angle, like a little bit up, probably like that or so. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, I'm 
lathered the first one up very nicely. I'm gonna go stick it up against. And that's about what I want. Ideally, it's sticking out a little bit more. I don't, want it as, I don't want it quite as long as my horns, but I feel like it should have a little bit of prominence so people notice it. Okay, so. That is not working very well right now. I'm gonna flip it over once I feel like I got a position so gravity's working on my side and holding it in place. And in fact, I'm probably at this stage gonna go and try to squeeze a little more in there just to gob it up. So we can make sure we get a good connection. Okay, I'm just... I'm gonna try to get the other ear in. Try to place it upside down and I will check it to confirm that it looks good. Let's... Okay. Just move the other one, I can tell it. Tell that I did that. So I'm gonna flip it over and see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna to try to line this up a little better. I don't love how this one folded, but I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to fix it a little afterwards. Okay, I think I'm happy enough with that. So I'm gonna, again, lean it over. Get some hot glue, extra hot glue in there just to make sure we get a good connection. It's hard to get an angle in there, but really anything will do if it sticks to something else. I'll be happy with it. You know, I think I'll have a better approach. Oops, I just might have switched the angle. I might try to put the ears on sooner than I did, but it might give you better flexibility in reaching it. But the ears were the, kind of the unimportant element for me, so hence I waited. Okay, so that seems pretty good. Again, I'm gonna look at it from, make sure it looks centered. I'm doing this off screen just so I I can keep the gravity working on my side here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so you could do a lot of things to embellish this even more, and who knows, maybe we'll end up doing it, but that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Um, I'll clean up a few of these strings here, but otherwise we should be done making this mask. So uh, we're gonna attach it to a headband, I think we're gonna do it, but you could put it on some kind of something that people hold or however you want to do it for your scenes. So thanks so much. I just thought of one more thing, which is if we wanted to add a little more support in this gap area between the, uh, between the horns and in this region. So I cut a piece of cardboard that just fits in there. I'm gonna put the cardboard in and then kind of glue the horns to the back. There's not that big of a gap there. So I'm just gonna glue it just to provide it some additional. So to do that, I'm just gonna do a little support there, a little support there. Okay, I'm just gonna shove it in. Oops, don't break it like I just did. Defeats the purpose of the support. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna put, put some glue here and glue the rest, the other side of those horns down so I have that little extra stability as a result.
go. That's all.